Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to talk about coffee filters and coffee makers. This is going to be the, the brown filters versus the white filters versus the reusable filters. And we're going to talk about, so these are basket style filters and these are cone filters. These are number four cone filters. So these are for like your standard 12 cup coffee makers. Now this is a dual brew, it does K-cups and coffee, but the coffee maker side is just like a normal coffee maker. So the first thing you're gonna notice is what style of filter does mine take? So this is a basket style. And if you don't know, you can read the manufacturer's instructions, they will tell you. But that's generally what they look like. And if it's a 12 cup coffee maker, generally your, your filters will say basket, 8 to 12 cup coffee makers. Now here we have a cone filter. Now cone filters were new to me. Um, Cuisinart does a lot of cone filters and Braun does too. But this is what they look like. It's definitely different than a basket and it is like a cone shape. And again normally your 12 cup coffee makers take the number 4 um, coffee because it says 8 to 12 cup cone coffee makers and again it's a cone shape but what's different about these so these come in the shape of a basket these you've got to these are always folded up really tight and you got to open them up so there's a little bit of work on your part but um the reusable filters are like this sometimes they call them like a gold tone or something but they're usually metal that's a really fine metal and same with this. This is like a basket. So you just put that in place of a filter. It goes there. And it goes there. So you never use a combination of both. It's either or. Never put this in there. The coffee makers are not designed to run through two filters. And a basket style filter is just going to sit in there like this. And a cone shaped filter. Again, you got to open it up. A little bit more work. You got to... Kind of put it in there and then kind of use your hand to, to open it up and make sure it hugs the walls. So real quick, let's talk about the, the brown versus the white. Um, so these are bleached and these are unbleached. Now I've looked online. I've done some coffee taste tests. I'm not a coffee expert, but I have not noticed a difference between a brown filter and a white filter. Now what I read online is so these are a little bit more environmentally friendly because there's a little more manufacturing process to bleach these where this is paper's natural color is brown. And again, this claims to have some flavor enhancing and all that, I, I'm not so sure about it. These do seem like some pretty quality filters. So that's the main thing everybody said online is just make sure you're getting a good quality filter, like it's not coming apart at the seams. And, and you know, this kind of feels good. Um, I've used, Basket style, I've used Great Value, this Brew Right. These come in all kinds of different brands. I've never really ran into a problem. They all kind of, these these all feel really paper thin. Whereas the cones do feel just a little bit thicker. So uh, this video is not going to debate the brown versus the white. Just wanted to explain them to you. So again, these are a little more environmentally friendly. These use, they use just a very little bleach from what I read online. So the biggest thing I'm going to show you is these reusable filters are nice. These are very environmentally friendly because you're going to wash this out with, with uh, water every time. So you're not going to be throwing away a, a paper filter. And you can put your coffee grounds in a bucket and reuse them out in your garden or something. So environmentally wise, the reusable is definitely the way to go. But you do get sediment in your coffee. I'm going to show you that. Um, when you use a paper filter, um, you don't get sediment in the bottom of your coffee. Now, Sediment's just really, really fine coffee grounds. It's not like the big coffee grinds grinds you see floating around in your coffee. That's not the case. It's I'm going to show you. Now, these do a really good job. You don't get coffee grounds in your coffee, but it does let really, really, really fine coffee in it. You'll see that at the bottom of your coffee. So you may be wondering, why is this black sludge in the bottom of my coffee cup? Um, it is really noticeable in a white coffee cup. So we're going to take a look and do some brews. So first, let's do the reusables. We're just gonna put that one in there. And again, we're just gonna put this one in there. 
I'm just going to do a six cup. I'm not going to do the full 12 cup coffee because I'm not going to be drinking that much coffee or doing a taste test. But I'm just going to do uh, six cups in each one. Okay. So generally, I've got six tablespoons of coffee. So generally, it's one tablespoon for a cup you're going to brew. So I'm doing a six cup. I've got six tablespoons in. And generally, they both hold, you know, up to 12 tablespoons. And a lot of coffee makers even let you go up to 15 tablespoons. But for this, I'm just going to do six tablespoons. Again, your coffee just sits in there. Just use one filter or the other. Okay, so I've started the uh, brew process. And we'll let these finish brewing. So I will tell you, so a cone filter and a basket style filter... You know, I'm not sure why they do cone filters. Um, I have had some pretty good pots of coffee from a cone filter. Um, so I think there might be something to a cone filter in how it brews. Um, it does brew a little different. The coffee is more stacked. Where over here it is, you know, more flat. But it does look like it, to me it looks like it brews the same. But. And again, I'm not a coffee expert by no means, but one of my best pots of coffee I've ever had that I could really taste a big difference in one time when I was doing some coffee uh, uh, maker reviews was in a cone filter. And it just so happened to be uh, with the reusable filter. So I don't know if sediment is good or bad for you. Um, you, you, you will notice it in the bottom of your coffee cup, and so you may question, what is this stuff in the bottom of my coffee cup? That's pretty much why I'm doing the video. So maybe the reason it tasted so good is because it had sediment in it. I, I'm not sure. But um, the video here is just going to show you what you get when you do a reusable filter and a paper filter. And just for a gee whiz, the Mr. Coffee is a little faster than the Cuisinart. But it claims to be a, like 20 or 30% faster than a standard coffee maker. So you see you're getting towards the end. This one's doing a good job too. Okay, so let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. Again, you don't notice it. Um, you will notice it in the bottom of your coffee pot, but you're mainly going to notice, notice it in the bottom of a white coffee mug. So let's pour a cup of coffee. And these can be hot, so be careful. So there's how the cone did, you know, and there's how the basket style did. So again, let's take this out. You can see they don't let coffee grounds out. So this is just for a gee whiz to show you. Not sure if it's showing you anything at all, but there's the difference. So you can see with the reusable, you still have some work to do to clean it up. And you actually do get a few coffee grounds down your sink drain. Now I've heard plumbers say the coffee grounds aren't the best for sinks. So, but you, you can knock most of them out, but you are going to get a few coffee grounds down your sink. So I let these cool, you know, the comb filter might taste just a little bit, but... I don't necessarily think it tastes enough to warrant, you know, getting a specific type of cone or basket style filter. And again, this may just be because there's sediment in the coffee. Okay, so now let's switch gears to the paper filter. And again, I'm going to use the brown one. I kind of switch back and forth between which ones I use. I, like again, I don't notice the taste difference. You've got the filter basket in there. And then you've got the... Uh, coffee grounds and the filter same over here I got six tablespoons in and we're gonna start the brew process okay so while these are while we're brewing in the basket um, or while we're brewing with the paper filters I went ahead and cleaned these up now they clean up really easy but what I do find is I use a lot of water um, it's kind of hard to get those coffee grounds out of the inside and that now they say these are dishwasher safe I, I would not put these in the dishwasher I would not want any coffee grounds in my dishwasher. I don't think dishwashers are designed to handle. Coffee grounds can do a lot of damage, so just be careful. So there is a trade-off. So with the paper filter, now they say these are compost, com, 
compost. You can put these in a compost. They, they do say that on the package, that they will break down with the, you know, with the earth. So with a paper filter, it's the cleanup is a lot easier. All of the grounds are in the filter. You just dump it out and you're really not wasting a ton of water. You still have to clean the filter basket, but not near as much as you do with this. So you, you use quite a bit of water when you clean these. So let's take a look at the paper filters. You see, they do a good job too. So I should have used the white ones because the white ones show you that whenever you brew in coffee, they turn brown from the sediment. They're really preventing the sediment from getting through. So there's the paper filter. Now, the one thing I might notice, maybe the water drains out of the filter uh, a little faster with a reusable, maybe. I, I can't, back, I don't have the science to back that up, but it does seem like it does um, drip out of there faster. Again, here's the cone. Cone's doing really good. So let's pour a cup of the, mist, of the basket style. Again, this is with a paper filter. Cuisinart with the cone paper filter. So with the paper filter, here's where cleanup is pretty simple. You can just take the filter basket out, and now all I got to do is dump that out. Um, I don't, and really no coffee grounds get into the um, actual basket area. So here I took the paper filters out just to show you, you know, it contains all the coffee grounds. These you know, you can just rinse these out, and about every third time I put these in the dishwasher. You don't have any coffee grounds. Same with the, the cone side. But you can see, so maybe, maybe with the cone, the coffee grounds are a little more compacted in an area. Whereas here, they're a little more spread out. Okay, so here I've got my coffee. This is with the reusable filter. This one's with the paper filter. Same here, reusable, paper. Okay, so again, the coffee tastes really good. This is the reusable, and you're gonna see some sediment in the bottom of this. So there's that sediment I was telling you about. You know, you know this one wasn't as bad as, you do get a little bit more when you do 12 cups, but that one wasn't as bad as what I've seen in the past on some. Okay, here is with the paper filter. That's Mr. Coffee. And you can see it's virtually sediment free. It, it is, I would say, 100% sediment free. That's probably what most people are used to, is no sediment at all. Again, compared to that. Okay, so now let's switch to the cone with the reusable filter. And there's that sediment I was telling you about. So you do get just a little more sediment in the cone filter, not much. Now this is the cone with the paper filter. Yeah, no sediment, none. Yeah, that's what, yeah, none. So again, so another thing I noticed, you do have a little bit of a shimmer when you use a reusable filter on the surface of your coffee. I do notice a little bit of a, like a shimmer, not so much on that one, but the cone one did seem like I had just a little bit of a shimmer. So I hope this video helps. It's basically an explanation of why you get sediment. And then it's kind of a little difference of the different coffee filters. You've got cone, um, you've got paper, you've got reusable, and you've got brown, and then you've got white ones. If you've got any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. And these same things can be held true for K-cups. So K-cups uh, come with paper filters in them. But if you get a reusable K-cup, 
a lot of those don't have filters in them and then you'll get sediment when you do a cake up with your own coffee grounds and I've got videos on that showing you how to use reusable cake cups with a paper filter so paper filters prevent sediment uh, thanks everybody for your support if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching